Hey there, I am Scott Stanton, the original Tombstone Church, and you'll never guess where we're at. We're in Newport, Rhode Island, home of the Uber Rich. Yes, before the Gold Coast of Miami and the Hamptons in New York, this is where everybody came. And in fact, Taylor Swift is the latest to just buy a house here in Newport, Rhode Island. But do we care about Taylor Swift? No. What the house we're looking at here is Clarendon Court. It's at 626 Bellevue. And this is one of the original mansions from the, uh, the, uh, the Gilded Age, sort of speak. Now, the, this mansion just went on sale in September of 2021 for $30 million, when 10 years ago you couldn't give it away for $5 million. But why are we here? Do we care about the Zillow price of this house? No, we don't. What we care about is this is the final home of Klaus Van Bulow and Sonny Van Bulow before she went into a permanent coma. Now, here's the facts very quickly. Sonny Von Bulow, in December of 1979, collapsed a uh, day after Christmas and fell into a coma. She recovered. Almost a year to the day, 1980, on the 20th in December, right before Christmas, she fell into again another coma and did not recover. And she was in a comatose state for 28 years before she passed away. What happened next? Then? Klaus Van Bulow goes on trial. He is found guilty of attempted murder. Because remember, Sonny was not, had not passed away at this point. Trial number two, he, Alan, he hires Alan Dershowitz, the, the uh, Harvard lawyer, and he finds seven or eight of his professor buddies to testify that it was all Sonny Van Bulow's fault. It was her fault. She was a drug addict, an alcoholic, a raging this and that. She absolutely destroyed Sonny Von Bulow's character in The Witness. He was found not guilty. End of story. He ended up leaving the country. Would you like to see her grave? I know I would. I'll catch you on the other side. Hey there. As promised, here we're at the grave of Martha Crawford, better known as Sonny Von Bulow. She is buried in the St. Mary's Episcopal Churchyard Cemetery. Uh, so when you come in from the highway, you stay to the left. There's a sign that says one way. You go behind the old church, you drive down the road, and you'll see this hedge here that surrounds her plot. Uh, it's about three feet high, and she's about 100 feet from the road, okay? There are no plot markers, there's no lots, there's no grave numbers, there's no section numbers. So you really need to just look for the hedge and then her stone sticks up just slightly above. Now, what brought Sunny to this place? Well, after she was injected with insulin or accidentally overdosed, whoever you choose to believe, she remained in a coma in New York City for 28 years and then she passed away. Her days were filled with pedicures, manicurists, people to do her hair, fresh linens, towels, flowers every day, and the music that she loved piped in. And her uh, two uh, her son and daughter from a previous marriage came and visited quite often. Now, what happened to uh, Klaus? Well, Klaus got nothing. It was negotiated, and nothing is a lot, because Sonny Von Bula was the only child of a utilities magnet, and when he died, she was only three or four years old. She was very young, and she inherited approximately $100 million. So when she died, she was still a very, very, very wealthy woman, and Klaus got nothing. He was also told to leave the country and in exchange, they gave the daughter that Klaus and Sonny had together $30 million. So Klaus went overseas, that's where he stayed, never came back to the US. He died in 2019. And you wanna know where his gravesite is? You don't, because the family will not disclose where he's buried for obvious reasons. So the question you're probably asking us, is Klaus Van Bulow guilty of killing Sonny Von Bulow? My personal opinion, absolutely, he is guilty. If you watch the movie Reversal of Fortune, you can pretty much forget what's in that movie because that was adapted by Alan Dershowitz's book 
Alan Dershowitz was naturally Klaus Van Bulow's attorney at the second trial. Um, Dominic Dunn, who actually interviewed uh, um, Klaus Van Bulow between the two trials and actually attended the trial, said he's guilty, absolutely, without a doubt. Jim Cramer, good friend of Alan Dershowitz, and he's on TV a lot on financial shows. He too says Klaus Van Bulow's <laughs> guilty. In fact, most of Alan Dershowitz's former friends said Klaus Van Bulow was uh, uh, guilty. So Alan didn't have any friends in that area. But in the end, it was a very, very sad ending for Sonny Von Bulow. She was a beautiful woman, she was vivacious, she loved to party, she had excellent taste, and it's really just a shame what happened to her. Again, I am Scott Stanton, the original Tombstone Tourist, and if you wanna find more about Sonny Von Bulow and the, the trial and whatnot, come to my website, thetombstonetourist.com, we have articles, videos, photographs, pictures, everything you could possibly want to make up your mind. Thank you very much and have a great day.